All right, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut this open here. Hopefully I don't spill any. I did. <laughs> Dump all that into the mix. Oop. A few spices in there. There's a few beans left in there, but yeah, so I'll put the rest of these beans in here. The ones that didn't fall on the ground. Again, I'm gonna put the lid on it. Looks so colorful, doesn't it? Put the lid on it so I don't spill it. And we'll let that sit for a few hours. All right, for lunch I am gonna have some uh, bacon and eggs. And this is a plain example of uh, downsizing, paying the same price or even more for uh, not even a pound of bacon, so. That's the way things go nowadays. Get this going. So, pretty easy to light that stove. Little butane stove here. Count the three, four, five, and I'll go the other way with it. Six, seven, eight, Yeah, so there's 12 pieces of bacon and uh, three quarters of a pound, probably. So when, years ago, we probably get 20 pieces of bacon for the same price. Yeah, so I'll let this cook for a little bit. So it's nice and crispy. So stay tuned. All right. I've actually got the uh, oil too hot here. So we're gonna turn it off. Let that cool off for a second. But you can see uh, my bacon is really nice and crispy. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Cook those eggs really good. All right, so now we're gonna try, call these easy over. Well, that was a pretty good breakfast I had, so what I planned on doing is juicing uh, a pineapple and some uh, peaches, but uh, guess what? I forgot my juicer at home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut up some and eat it because it's actually probably more fiber and better for you. It's always good to have a good balance, so my greasy uh, breakfast 
and go good with some fruit after. If I can get it peeled properly. Yeah, so good fresh peach. A little crunchy. Probably would be better juiced. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, next is this uh, pineapple. Yeah. I just want a little piece of it. Try not to cut myself. But yeah, a good fresh pineapple. Mm -mm -mm. That sure is juicy. Well, everyone. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make uh, some chili and I'm gonna start off by putting in this uh, lean ground hamburger and frying it up. And so I just wanna thank uh, Once Upon a City, Sally, that is. Um, for giving me this idea. So, I'm gonna cook up this hamburger, I'm gonna cut up this onion, I'm gonna add in a can of mushrooms. So, what I'm gonna do is just put in half an onion. So, I've already done a, uh, a chili, and it was, uh, indoors in my shed here and over my wood stove but uh i'm going to switch it up a little bit today and what i'm going to actually do is i'm going to make uh, chili nachos so it's going to be a little bit of a process here up really good and really quick on this little stove. Gotta watch we don't burn anything here. So again I want to thank uh, Sally Once Upon a City. Great a great uh, Toronto YouTuber um, for giving me this idea. So keep watching everyone. Now I'll get the onions in here. Oh, it smells so good already. Just the onions in the hamburger smells great. And the mushrooms here. And rinse them out. One can of mushrooms, recommended by the doctor. Yeah, so now I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit. And then I'm gonna switch pots and we're gonna add some uh, all kinds of spices in. 
Well, now we're gonna put this uh, chili all together here. So what I'm gonna do is just switch. Oh, that handle's hot. Hot and heavy that thing is. Yeah, so i put all this in, into here now. I could have just cooked it in there, but Nice thing about cooking outside at my camp here is that you don't have to worry about spilling any food around. So I'm gonna put in a can of this. Diced tomatoes. And give that a stir in there. And then we're going to add a can of uh, kidney beans. Nice can of kidney beans, which I'm going to rinse out. All right, so now we are going to add a full can of kidney beans and another, all these uh, beans that I've been soaking for a good four hours. I'll give this a good stir in there. do is I'm going to add another can of uh, crushed tomatoes, diced tomatoes I should say, if I can open it. <laughs> I'm actually going to make a full pot of chili here. So my next step here is to uh, add the rest of the ingredients of the uh, that came in this packet. But what I want to do is take out the rest of the uh, of the beans that I didn't uh, get all the way out of the package here. It'd be too hard to eat because they didn't get soaked. Yeah, let's go through this a little bit. Just, uh, I think I got them all out. So I'll give this a really good stir. Depends on uh, how thick this is. I may add some more water. But, uh, I'll show you guys where I'm at here with this. This beautiful chili that I'm making. Yeah, so I'm gonna let this simmer for probably an hour before I eat. Well, we're going to start by uh, preheating the oven here. Fry pan out of here. I think the way you start this. Uh, 
there. Yeah, so I'm gonna bake my nachos in the oven here. Well, everyone, I have uh, put together my nacho chili, chili nachos. And I'm going to shut the oven off here. And get them out of the oven. They've only been in the oven for about maybe 10 minutes or so. Don't want to overcook them and they're kind of steaming already. So put them up top here. They look hot, so what I'll do is I'll put them on the table here. I'll show you guys what they look like here. sour cream here oh, goes the light I'll get the light up in here Well, it's nice and steamy and hot, that's for sure. Well, this is very good. So uh, I want to thank you very much, Sally, for uh, giving me this uh, great idea. Thanks for watching everyone.